Hey friends, how are you all doing today? And it's another episode of How. So, uh, before we start with today's episode, just a logical question. In your wallets, your purses, okay, let's go to wallets first. In your wallets, what you would carry what do you think you would carry or you know men usually what do they take they take their car keys they take their mobile phones they take their uh, glasses or shades you know sunglasses or uh, of course you have to take your wallets maybe money uh, plastic money cards and this stuff of course nowadays the most important thing is mask that's like you have to carry it except for this there is one more important thing but that important thing i will tell you is after knowing what would be important to even carry in a lady's purse or lady's handbag so again the same thing keys mobile phones eye shades and makeup you know different kind of makeups that you have and for ladies something extra maybe your hair comb brush or you know few bobby pins or tic tac clips and different other things yes but this one important thing that we are going to talk about today is the safety pin why is it a must to carry the safety pin is you will know once i share the hack that's when you'll realize there are so many incidents that could happen which can be overcome with just one safety pin so stay tuned i'm going to first try this hack on the blouse or you can even use a shirt see there are times where you know the blouse or the shirt just pops open from in between two buttons the gap between two buttons so see here there's another example so what you could do in case if you have such an incident take a safety pin and i'll just show you once i tilt this blouse now uh, i will try to cover the area which pops open like this in this way just between two buttons so i'll try fixing the safety pin between the gap in a way that it is not noticeable on the outer side so once you put the safety pin there i have locked it up and there i'll try to pull it see can you see it's covered well as if there's a stitch done and even when i try to pull it see you cannot make out any gap in the area now in the next method i am going to make use of the safety pin this is an accessory of mine an anklet and basically the hook is missing so in case if i need a quick fix say i'm out if the hook is broken or something just if you have you'll need a smaller safety pin so you could ensure keeping different sizes just pass the safety pin through both the sides and there you have it covered up in this way and then you can just use it normally and once you have another hook you can just fix that in this method i'm going to show you how in case if the button of your jeans is out or in case if your jeans is too loose and you want to tighten it up what you could do is take a safety pin and you'll need this kind of a button okay and put it a little on the inner side a little away from the first button and pin it up to the jeans in this way and this might be a little difficult but then it's gone through and then if you do not have this is in case if you cannot stitch it you can use this method for a quick fix and then just button it up in this way so so in case if 
the jeans is loose you can use this method or if the button is lost as a quick fix you can use this method yes sometimes the button falls off or something happens so it's a very good way another way this is quite common especially for uh, uh, you know uh, clothes where you need to pass a string through the ends of the hoodie or maybe even for your uh, Indian clothes where you wear salwar kameez this in this way you can just pass the string with the help of a safety pin secure the other end with a knot so that when you pull the string from one side the other does not land up inside and then uh, once you have got the safety pin out from the other end you will sh uh, you will ensure the other end as well is secured with a knot so in this way you can make use of a safety pin in case sometimes the string is you know gone inside or is come out or you need to fix it quickly you can just use it in this way nevertheless sometimes you need to tighten up your clothes or something you can again make use of the safety pin in this way now most of the people they who wear sari um, do know about this hack and in case if you do not know usually when you make pleats for a sari or maybe say for something else you, you need to make pleats like in this way and you need to secure the pleats well the best way would be to use a safety pin i'll show you how i'm done putting the pleats and once i'm done with the pleats i'll just adjust them in this way like what we would normally do with sari as well just adjust it and then secure the whole bunch of pleats with a safety pin yeah you if the uh, material is very thick you'll need a very big safety pin if not uh, this size should be good enough and just pass the safety pin through the whole set of pleats and there we are done and no matter what you do you dance with your sari or you know i don't know what you could do you could do karate <laughs> or anything else you're ensured nothing is going to go wrong with the pleats it's not going to go from left to right i'll even show you right now see can you see the pleats are as arranged now even if i mess the whole thing up and open it up like this once they are collected together you'll still find it pleated in the same form why because it is secured with the safety pin see and it looks very neat so friends those were very few hacks of safety pins that could come in any use of an emergency case or you know as a quick fix nevertheless there are multiple other uses of a uh, safety pin like you know even if you need to get your dress fixed if there is a tear or if it's too loose you need to um, you know tighten it up a little bit a safety pin can come in use there are various multiple uses of safety pins so my whole point of showing this video is this small little thing comes in use at any point of time in case of a wardrobe malfunction or your accessories they are broken off you know you can you can just immediately fix them with this quick fix and then till you find a better way of getting it fixed or change the hook or something you can make use of this method so hope you like this episode do let me know in the comment section and what do you have to say regarding today's episode 
and uh, a reminder for those of y'all who have not yet subscribed to my channel please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell icon to get updates on all my upcoming videos i'll see you in another episode of how